I am here at Dragon Con with the local Rocky Horror Group here in Atlanta. Say hi, everybody. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> we're LDOD, and we're the local Rocky Horror Community Theater Group here in Atlanta, Georgia. We perform every Friday night at the Plaza Theater at 11 p.m. And I'm Aaron Siegel. I produce the show at the Plaza. My name's Connor Schmeckepper. I'm the director of LDOD. And I'm Jackie, uh, Jackie Fairman. Um, I am the cast secretary, and then I'm also performing in our Dragon Con production this evening. This is our Janet tonight. So we're really excited to have you. Yes, despite the right bullshit. <laughs> um, it's Janet tonight. We'll change costumes. I really love that all of our actors are so multi talented because Jackie plays. Well, she's playing Janet tonight. She also played uh, Columbia last year at Dragon Con. She plays Rocky and so many other characters, and that's why we're able to kind of keep our cast rotating in interesting and new ways, is because everyone wants to try different roles out. Mm-hmm. And you're very big on, it doesn't matter what your gender self-expression is, it doesn't matter what your identity is. LDOD is a place of safety, it is a place that if you've ever wanted to get on stage, but maybe you're not as excited about the singing and the dancing, but you'd like a way to just kind of get yourself out there and feel a little bit safer among a group of people, you can step onto the stage and you can play really whatever role you want. We don't say that because you're presenting one way or another or have a certain skin tone that you're limited from playing any sort of characters. As a community theater, one of our mission statements is that we want to be accessible for all of our cast members. Regardless of gender, body shape, or anything else, we want them to be able to have the opportunity to get on stage. We're all volunteers, we're doing this because it's fun, but as a cast, we try to make the extra effort to make sure we're able to provide the costumes for our cast, uh, make sure we're able to provide them training before they get on stage so that they're able to work within the high quality amateur production that we try to put on. Uh, and we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we try and teach the basics of community theater. We teach all of our cast members the difference between upstage and downstage, and how to plot, uh, how to do a lighting plot, how to uh, how to spike the stage for different props and set pieces. We do a lot of training, and we also uh, encourage all of our cast members to do more public speaking, to get out on the stage, to uh, to learn all of the technical aspects of theater that we can offer. Okay, and how many years have you guys been performing at Dragon Con? Our first year performing at Dragon Con was 2002. So, accepting... The pandemic was at 21 years now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, LDOD, yeah. LDOD has been, uh, as an organization, we've been around since the year 2000. Uh, we've been performing at a historic Plaza Theater as our home base, and it's been a fantastic opportunity for us to be able to support such a historic building, um, as well as you know, build a following with our audience. We have people coming week after week, some people who have never seen the show before, some people who are seeing the show for the hundredth time. They're just loving the atmosphere and the culture that we bring to them. And we're actually seeing second generations from our cast that are coming to uh, perform with us. I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's, um, this is kind of an interesting group of people that we've got right now, actually, because Aaron was one of the founding members of LDOD in 2000. 2000. 2000. Then, Claire, you've been on for just past 12 years or yep. 11 years? I joined in 2012. Okay. And then I, my first show at LDOD was actually right about two years ago, the Friday before Dragon Con. And then I was like, okay, how do I get involved in this? Um, had met some people before, started coming to the shows, just started working with Pitt, and then a year later I was Columbia, and now I'm playing Janet, and several of the people that we've got here are all people that we've individually recruited and that have brought in more people. Um, another thing to mention about the Plaza being our home base is we actually just celebrated bringing in a million dollars to the Plaza Theater. We had Barry Boswick Congratulations. come to host a special <laughs> show with us for our million dollar milestone night. Mm-hmm. It was a hell of an accomplishment. It was, I mean, and just the fact that the Plaza wanted to bring in Barry and celebrate that with us, especially, I mean, for Aaron being here literally since inception, since no money was made, 
and then weren't y'all like paying to come to the show initially? We were originally paying to come to the show, yeah. so that really shows you some devotion. Of course, tickets were not as expensive as they are now. Yeah, the economy should be there. Right. <laughs> but uh, we were paying to come to perform, and we had flashlights at the beginning, and then we had some, uh, some can lights, some Home Depot can lights. And then uh, once I got fully immersed in this whole thing, uh, I reached out to various theater groups and we bought some spotlights. So we've been using spotlights ever since and we've uh, upgraded all of our costumes from our inception, which were screen <laughs> present, but not screen accurate. As a cast, we've really matured these last 23 years, so, and we've like refined this down to kind of a science of how we want to get people involved, get them on stage, help them, you know, immerse themselves in this culture, and find a way they can be the best versions of themselves. And one thing we do tend to emphasize on cast is there's also a drug-free, free environment. Because we get a lot of people from just all sorts of walks of life, and we want everybody to know that, yes, while the show does have a lot of explicit content, and it does have an R rating, when you step onto the stage, when you step into an LGBT function, you will always, you will never be under any pressure to engage in any substances that don't make you feel there's, there's so few spaces where people can go to go have a good time without the pressure to be, you know, be under the influence of drugs and alcohol. That's everyone's choice that they want to make, but I think it's important to also create spaces where there's not that pressure, where everyone can, you know, have a great time and just enjoy experiences for what they are, rather than feeling pressure to consume drugs or alcohol. And uh, our track and con shows seem to be the epitome of bringing uh, virgins, Rocky Harm virgins, to have this experience because we put on one of our best shows. We rehearse this show with the same cast for over two months and the track and con shows have been talked about over the years and we've become such a well-oiled machine. We completely uh, meld with the Dragon Con Tech Ops people about they know our expectations they know, we know their limits and their possibilities. So it's all come together year after year with the help of Dragon Con so that the show goes out most years without a hitch. <laughs> and it's, I find it funny with Dragon Con, so we actually audition for the Dragon Con production. Every other time when you want to do a role, you just have to get a proof that you're screen accurate enough and you roll a dice and that's how you decide. Mm -hmm. Dragon Con we actually audition for and the people auditioning do not get to look at the movie. We go on sound alone because when we're at Dragon Con, we cannot usually see the movie. So anybody that is performing knows, literally knows this movie by heart. And, I mean, it's gotten to the point that my husband quotes the movie at me, and I'm like, you've seen it enough times, I guess, at this point, that you also know it by heart. And that's how we all just have to operate, and that's our love of this production, is that we're willing to be doing this Friday after Friday and still find something really enjoyable out of this. There's a lot to enjoy in this movie. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited to share with the audience at Dragon Con this weekend. And then every Friday night, forever. Forever. <laughs> our day jobs kind of are completely different oh, yeah. for the most part of what we do.